Hey guys, welcome to another Windows XP video. Now, if you're looking at the screen, you think, oh, this is definitely Windows 7 or Windows 2008, and you're right. This is a 2008 server. And the reason why we're kicking this off as an XP video is because we're going to take this 2008 server and we're going to use it to inject the latest versions of the ADML and ADMX files, as well as the latest versions of the STIG security into the Windows XP machine to see if we could actually secure Windows XP. So what I've done so far is I've copied over the uh, files into the um, my tools directory here for our policy definitions and our STIG configurations. Now our STIG configurations, as you can see, have the Windows 10 STIG configurations in here and the group policy objects. This is both the users and computers policy configuration. Now, obviously, without the ADML and ADMX templates that exist up here injected into a 2019 or really a 2012 R2 or better server, this wouldn't work on 2008. So what I did first is I grabbed the policy definitions from a 2019 server that already had all those ADMX and ADML templates imported. And I'm going to grab these policy definitions and I'm going to import them into the policy definitions in our, uh, in our Windows and then policy definitions folder. So once they're imported, what that'll give us the ability to do is to create our policy configuration, our group policies themselves, inside of Active Directory's group policy management, which you can see here that I have the, uh, uh, the templates already added, but I haven't deployed them, right? So we've uh, blocked the inheritance on the actual XP and the XP user machine. Um, once I add those policies to that, we're gonna go over to the XP machine, we'll GP update force that machine, and we'll take a look to see what actually takes place. Can we secure Windows XP with Windows 10 CIS benchmarks. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're now on the XP side. We have the XP machine up and running. We're going to go ahead and log in. We notice that we have Control Alt Delete to begin, which is a telltale sign that the system at least was added to the domain. Um, huh. We do get a U.S. Department of Defense warning statement now when we go to log in, which is part of the uh, information that was added in the policy for the Windows 10 STIG configuration. So at least that part of the policy is working. Let's log in and see what happens. Well, would you look at that? So XP is now up and running. Um, so far, I don't see any errors. We do have access to the drive. Our local share is now working, which wasn't working prior. I added that through the policy configuration for the, the local mapping. Um, let's see if it actually shows us what we have as far as policy is concerned. Uh, let's do... Um, Interesting to see if it actually did anything or if it failed. Well, it appears it actually worked. So we have policy now on here where we have our password history size. So we will remember 24 passwords. Minimum age is a day. Reset lockout is 14 days. Maximum password age is 60 days. Um, we do have the user right assess, uh, assignment created. So we do have the, uh, the SIDs for the users. Um, so let's see if there's anything that's been cut out of the policy configuration. This all looks very good, actually. It, it looks like, for the most part, Windows XP will still apply policy changes or registry changes to secure it just like it would on Windows 10. Again, I suspect that we still won't have the ability to use things like 
TLS 1.2 or um, SMB 1.2 or is SMB 2.0 rather, or uh, I think the other one's 3.1. Uh, I doubt we'll have those. But yeah, so we did get all of the policies did apply. So right now, this machine has all the lockdown as of January 2024 that would be applied to a Windows 10 machine for the STIGs or CIS benchmarks, um, or what I would call nearly NIST, which is actually really impressive. The fact that we were able to lock down a Windows XP machine as if it was still being used in, in an infrastructure and environment. Um, I'm definitely going to run some tests and some scans against this thing using my Nessus scanner to see what it comes back with as far as uh, what's, what's actually here. But for anybody interested, this is totally possible. We've debunked the fact that I really thought we would have registry issues or errors in here, but it appears not. We actually do have the ability to lock down Windows XP just like we would with Windows 10. Now, since we don't have the support for the later SMB, I, I don't think that there's a use case for this on an actual domain, So because you're still not going to be able to communicate with like a 2016 or 19 servers, or at least I don't believe you will be able to because of the, uh, the lack of SMB uh, uh, support for the later versions. But um, that's something we could test too to see uh, after we do our migration from our 2008 system to a 2019 server, we go through all the DFS, DFSR changes, we might be able to force the XP machine to still communicate. And if that's the case, then at that point, we've kind of debunked the fact that XP is completely useless because in reality, we have it locked down. We have security on it. This is enough security that the CIS uh, provides this stuff as the benchmark for Windows 10. It still applies without error on the Windows XP side. I would call this uh, a win. Um, if you guys want more details on how to do this, let me know. I'll put some additional details and descriptions inside of the, um, the, the description box here inside of YouTube. Uh, but yeah, pretty sweet, man. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, I'm really curious how Nessus will uh, report back from a security standpoint. All right, guys, like and subscribe when you have some time. Um, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for your added support and all the people that have viewed my videos. Um, really enjoyed so far having a bunch of conversations with you guys. Definitely keep them coming as far as they go. You guys are a great community and I'm just happy to be part of it. Thanks again. You guys take it easy.